Hello? I hope you're listening. Because you got to take a test. Right, Buford? He says you got to take a test. Tomorrow, it's time. Don't screw this up. You're not going to screw this up. I'm going to give you some help, though, all right? You're not going to screw it up. Here's why. Because you're going to take the test. It's 100 mobile choice questions in the beginning. Woohoo! Who doesn't love to do 100 mobile choice questions? Pretty much no one loves this, but you're going to do it, and you're going to do it with class and dignity and sexy grace, all right? So 90 minutes. That's tons of time. Way more time than I ever gave you. You've got this. Remember, to get a good score, you're not trying for 100. I don't even know if I would get 100 on it. Try for 60%. Try to basically almost fail. You can do that. Mm. Buford is here to tell you about the FRQ section. He's pretty excited about it, as you can tell. He's trying to tell you that you're going to have four FRQs after your break, and you got 90 minutes to do it, which means about 22 and a half minutes per FRQ. Mm -mm -mm. Delightful. Again, Buford said, that's a lot more time than Samler ever gave you because he was a jerk when it came to writing questions. The at first FRQ, he says, is a document. You know, one of these, like, fake newspapers or current event newsletters from Fremont. It's always about freaking Fremont. You just read the document. It will give you the topic, and then you start answering the questions. In fact, one of the questions might come directly from the document. The rest of them probably have nothing to do with the document. Just answer the dang questions. You're going to be amazing. James is here to tell you about the math FRQ. Leo's pretty excited about it too. Look at them. They're sticking their butts in the air with such excitement. FRQ 2 is math. Right, James? That's right. Your favorite. James, tell everyone how much you love math. Well, I know a lot of you are not in James camp. You hate the math question. So you can choose whether you like it or hate it. Guess what? Not all of it's math. All right, so remember, just because you see math doesn't mean that you just skip it. You answer the dang question. Go to the non-math portion if you don't like the math, and then save the math to the very end. It's okay. You can skip around. So if you don't like the math, don't go in sequence. Go to question three. Go to question four. And then go back to question two. All right? Not all of it is math. You can do it in out of order. And what math should you focus on? Percent change. Final minus initial times 100 over initial, or the volume. Remember, you're going to multiply area times depth or area times height, but you're going to have to convert everything to the same unit. And if you've got square units, make sure you double your metric conversion. If you've got cubic units, make sure you triple. And then KWH, kilowatt hours. Figure out how many kilowatts, times it by hours, times it by money. Right, Leo? That's right. Archie, tell him about questions three and four. He's pretty excited about questions three and four. You know why? Because they're just regular old questions. There's nothing too fancy about them. Just answer the dang questions. All right? Just a reminder with the FRQs, sometimes they say identify, sometimes they say describe. If you identify, you just answer the question. It could be in about one to two sentences. You might need three sentences, that's okay. If it's describe, answer it like it's identify question, and then describe. Give the reason why you are correct. So you're going to need maybe a small paragraph. For those who don't like to write, I apologize. You will have the time to do it. All right, write in full sentences. And if they ask you for two reasons that for two, identify two ways that fertilizer impacts water, only give two. Think about what's your two most favorite answers, then write your answer. What's a good score on the FRQs? 5 out of 10. That's pretty good. More than that, really good. Or if you're trying to go for a 3, 3 out of 10 minimum, you can get 30%. Come on, it's not that hard. So with that, you're going to do amazing. Here are your affirmations because there is a request. So remember, we're going to start at the top. And if you really, really are struggling, you can go down. So at the top, you are going to hammer this test so bad that you're going to be hired to write next year's exam. I think that's true. If you're not feeling that, remember, you go down. You are going to do well enough on this test that no one will call you, but you'll go out and treat yourself to ice cream, which is yummy. And then if all else fails, you can always go to the third one. Meh, 
Who cares? Samler loves me. I do. I do. I do. I don't know how to use a computer. Good luck. Love you. Bye.